welcome to the Wizards post game show brought to you by Fox Sports 1340 and 96.9 Hopewell, Virginia. I'm Brian H. Waters. I'm here with my man Wiley. What's up, man? Been a while, bro. Been a while, man. You know what I mean? This is, hey, nothing better than a playoff game in Washington, D.C. This building, if y'all yeah. don't know, we're in the Verizon Center. This building has been very busy. Yeah. I mean, we're talking Wizards. We're talking Capitals. Capitals, yeah. As the young folks would say, it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> DC rising. DC rising DC, right DC now. DC rising. <laughs> DC family. Rock the red. It's lit right here in the phone booth. But Wally, Wizards pick up a huge win tonight against the Atlanta Hawks. Your thoughts? Uh, they wouldn't have won this game if it wasn't for Bradley Bill. Bradley Bill had 11 points in the first quarter. To me, in my opinion, if Bradley Bill didn't score that 11 in the first quarter, they're getting blown out by the Atlanta Hawks. And we're talking to we have a different story. Wow. We're talking about the series is over. So I think all credit goes to Bradley Bill. Mm -hmm. Obviously, your superstars come to play. John Wall had a good second quarter kind of to, to help back up Bradley Bill. And then we saw Otto Porter's Otto Porter siding. But Otto Porter had seven points in the quarter in the mm -hmm. second quarter. So to me, in this game, you saw guys that need to step up with Bradley Bill in that first quarter because again, like I told you, it was doomsday mm -hmm. if it wasn't Bradley Bill. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I want to ask you about something. Because one thing I noticed was the hustle play yeah. from Kelly Oubre Jr. Yes. What did you think about that? And then you could see, you could see like it, it got to him. Like he was happy. And I mean got to him in a positive manner. Like he you saw him roar with the crowd, like yeah. he hulked up. I think, I mean, everybody knows Kelly Oubre is one of the more talented players that the Washington Wizards have. In mm -hmm. terms of his flat-out talent ability, uh, you see the, the size, the build, the athleticism. Um, he's, get, he's improved his jump shot. But for Kelly Oubre to make an impact for this Washington Wizards team, he has to do it on a defensive, defensive end, and he has to hustle. Yeah. If he can play if he can play defense the way we, we all know he can with the long, his long wingspan and the way he can, like, move his feet from, slide to sl I mean, from side to side, if he can hustle like that on, on every time the Wizards step on this court, this team is a dangerous team. They're just that much more deeper. Dangerous team, but if they're gonna be dangerous, last point, they gotta win in Atlanta. ATL. They got they to gotta win it. in ATL. What is it gonna take, Wally, for the Wizards well, to get it? Well, we done? all know, like when you go in the playoffs, when you're on the road, mm -hmm. like you have to, like you know your superstars are gonna show out. Like yeah. you know John Wall's gonna be there. You know Bradley Bill's gonna be there. Uh -huh. But usually on the road, you need role players to step up. So you need a, a Bogdanovich to make threes. Okay. You need an Auto Porter to make threes. Auto Porter has to do what he did tonight mm -hmm. and take it over. To Atlanta, you gotta yeah. have that type of output. You gotta see Brandon Jennings has been a consistent contributor of late. Brandon mm -hmm. Jennings has to still bring that same impact that he did tonight. So, in my opinion, if the Wizards want to take it in Atlanta, first, the first thing first, they gotta play defense. They gotta <laughs> strap. All right, they gotta strap. All right, and then secondly, like I mentioned, the role players gotta come out to play. If they come out to play and play to their capability, the series the series ends in Atlanta. Series ends in Atlanta. You said you talked about Brandon Jennings. He said he's excited because this will be the first time he gets out of the first round. Any final thoughts? No, I'm I'm, I'm glad that this team won. Obviously, it's a, it's a, it's a DC or well, DMV cat. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to see the home team do do the, do their job. Yep. And covering this team, seeing them seeing them grow from what how they started this season off, Woo! being a team that didn't like going to make the postseason. Matter of fact, they were destined for the lottery. Yeah. Uh, they were destined for the lottery. And then you had John. Look, come Wall. on now. Come on now. You got basketball intelligence. You knew better than that. No, nah. you knew look, that, the way they was playing. That you you knew. Man, they, Brooks, look, look, the man. chemistry. Come on, Wiley. Man, I, I, I've, knew, I've seen boys and girls basketball teams play better defense than that. But you knew that they was gonna eventually get it together. No, I thought that they were going to be okay, <laughs> okay. but not a playoff team. They, was, I thought they was on this lottery. Who's going to draft ball? Not That's how they were looking. Who's going to draft ball? Not in potential because they was almost a number one seed. Yeah, oh, they were. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah. It took them a while to get there. No, the, the so you said they was almost a what? A fifteen. I'm just telling you that. We could have been saying, are they getting Fox? Are they getting Ball? I'm just saying, that's how it was looking. I but I'm we talking about the Lakers. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah I know, right? <laughs> but, I, but I'm glad that this team, they, they, they turned around. Now we look at look at this now. We're watching this team having an opportunity uh -huh. to, to get to the second round and, and play either Boston or Chicago. Woo! I mean, I know Chicago started off hot. Rondo got hurt. But... I mean, we know the bad blood between Boston. Oh, that'd be, that, would, that would be made for TV. That would, we, we talking ahead, though. Right. Game six is important <laughs> right now. Game six, they got to do six. what they need to do. They, the, the role players got to step up. John Wall, Bradley Bill got to mm -hmm. be leaders. And, and most importantly, I think we, and I want to end it on this, I love the way John Wall has played ball this whole season. But mm -hmm. it's one thing he has to understand. Like, he can keep, he's right and by watching the game. He doesn't get a lot of calls, and I agree with him. But at the same time, he already knows, he knows what it is. Mm -hmm. just, just deal with it. Ignore the refs, play basketball, and everything good will happen for him. Deal with it, ignore the refs, and guess what? If he does that, the next time they be on this court will not be for Game 7, but it will be for the next round. Until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, he's Wally. I'm Brian H. Waters. Make sure you are subscribed to us on YouTube and Facebook, Instagram. 
Snapchat, Twitter, you know it, you name it, we're there. So long, everybody. <laughs>